Time now for this week's five most spectacular plays. We call it the phenomenal five each and every week. Tom, uh, we try to bring the best plays in the area to the viewers. And this week, we're entering week five of high school football. Hard to believe. Midway point, Ken. I don't know where it's going, but I did get a chance to sneak into your office and saw <laughs> some of the plays. And folks, you're going to like them. Ken picked you, out some good ones. You didn't go through my wallet, did you? Uh, I only took 10 bucks. That's all, all right, I okay, needed. All right, let's take a look at the top five. We're going to take you to mommy for number five. The Panthers have an explosive offense. That's Andrew Schultz taking the pitch. He's gone. Looks a little bit like John Riggins. 33 yards for a mommy touchdown. In the fourth spot, Springfield punting. Ah, the snap's just a wee bit high. Over the punter's head. Perrysburg's Caden Llewellyn pushes the kicker out of the way. Scoop up the ball and take it in for a score. That is a heads-up play. At number three, Napoleon's got a huge win over Southview Friday night. This guy's a big reason why. Charlie Harris reverses field, and he's gone. He's going to take this one 28 yards to the house. Take another look. He looks like Gail Sayers, Hugh McElhoney. Okay, Barry Sanders, greener passers on the other side of the field. Nice move, big fella. Wildcat win over the Cougars. And in number two, Toledo BGSU playing in the battle of I-75. And as you'd expect, big time offense from the Rockets. Terrence Owens, 66 yard touchdown pass to Alonzo Russell on third and 14. Rockets over BG, 27-15. And at number one, St. John's Jesuit Titans getting a big one on this play. Go back on the pump fake, and here we go. Deep pass is complete to Mays to the five. Touchdown, St. John's. Well, Mr. Mays is really showing his, his athleticism here tonight. Brogan Roback is second touchdown pass of the evening, and it's a long strike to Mays.